Hi friends, Rebecca here. Welcome back to And a Sprinkle of Love and happy day after Thanksgiving. For those of you here in the U.S. who celebrated Thanksgiving, I hope you all had a wonderful day. I hope everything went smoothly. You all had plenty to eat and had lots of laughs and made beautiful memories. So we decided to just kind of clean out um, our fridge and clean out our pantry again and decided to go to Aldi today, which was good. They were, um, they weren't busy at all. They were out of a few things just because yesterday was, or this week was a holiday, but that's okay. Got most of everything I needed and let's just go ahead and get started. I needed some, just some storage bags and I wasn't looking for the festive ones, but they happened to have them for the same price. So I went ahead and got the the cute ones, yay. And then got some corn flakes. Just kind of anticipating that the month of December, I do do a big cookie bake. So just kind of um, preparing myself by the things I need little by little, just to get ready. Got some more ramen noodles. And then we went ahead and got three more dozen of eggs. They were 58 cents this time. and. To my sweet friend in Canada who had mentioned that, you know, you know, pretty much that I'm pretty lucky because it's, she said it was uh, about 2.35 a dozen eggs where she is. So 58 cents, I, I have nothing to complain about. That's awesome. And then we'll come over here. And I just got two bags of the frozen extra fine green beans. And then we're going to do breakfast for dinner, so I got a bag of the shredded hash browns. And then just some crinkle cut fries, just kind of our, you know, staples, kind of the things that I can just throw together quick. We got three of just the pepperoni frozen pizzas. Let's see, we got some bacon. Got some beef franks. These have become a staple. I buy these every time now, the mild Italian chicken sausage. As we were checking out, my husband's like, oh yeah, those are so good. I was wondering what happened to him. It's because he had eaten them. So I should have gotten two, but that's okay. I don't mind sharing. Um, got two bags of the frozen corn. And then we went ahead and got two. My, um, we had Thanksgiving at my mom's house, so we didn't really have to buy... Um, many things for the holidays. I just kind of brought some dishes, but um, one thing my kids do like is the fruit salad she makes and she's always made. So they're like, can we make some more? So I got some of the Aldi's brand of Cool Whip, two of those. Sour cream, they had, we got two. We usually always get two, but they had these marked down to 99 cents, which was nice, about 20 cents off. And then just these hash brown patties. We buy these we buy these every now and again. The kids just like to have them. They make just quick snacks, just quick lunches and stuff. So yeah. Then I was just mentioning the um, fruit salad. So I went ahead, we do um, mandarin oranges in it. Um, fruit cocktail. So I got two cans of the fruit cocktail. And then we'll add marshmallows and bananas too. Um, some crushed whole tomatoes. I've never seen this here before. Maybe it's new, I'm not sure, but it's a, the queso. Um, it'd be a fun snack. We don't buy that often, maybe once or twice a year. I thought it'd be fun with all the fun Christmas movies and stuff coming on. It'll be a fun snack for us one night. And just got our salsa, which we usually buy. Just needed one can of tomato paste this time. And let's see, I got three, six, eight cans of tomato sauce. I had mentioned I buy so much of the tomato sauce because if I'm making chili or making spaghetti, I'll use, you know, three or four of them at a time. So I like to just stock up. I had made tomato soup last week or last haul I had mentioned I was making tomato soup and sandwiches and the kids were like, please do it again. They loved it so much. So we'll do that again. And then, I'm sorry, my corner here is kind of dark. Let me move some stuff. Um, I got two cans of just the light red kidney beans and then two cans of black beans. And you see, you probably have been watching my hauls 
I've been buying these the last several grocery hauls, the um, Pure Pumpkin. I know these are just seasonal, so I always just pick up an extra couple every time I go, and then that way I'll have it for the duration of the year, because we like to make pumpkin muffins and cupcakes throughout the year. Um, I got some of these Jumbo Buttermilk Biscuits. I like to make homemade biscuits, but these are nice. Um, we're going to make a like monkey pizza bread again, and I thought, well, that just makes my life easier just to have that on hand. Got some baking powder, some more baking soda, and let's see, some more pure vanilla extract. I'm gonna go back here. We needed some more olive oil and some more maple syrup and peanut butter. I, I think my family eats their weight in peanut butter every year. They love peanut butter. Some more honey. My daughter mentioned this. She's our honey girl. That's probably why she's so sweet. Um, some French fried onions. I'm excited to share with you my um, my green bean casserole. It's kind of a not. It's called Not Your Mama's uh, Green Bean Casserole. So I'm excited to share that with you. So I'm be looking for that in upcoming videos. And then we just got. Let's see five yogurts for um, our oldest daughter for her lunches and then back here we got some let's see my corner is so dark we got some just three green bell peppers and these bell peppers are huge this time definitely getting your money's worth um, just some regular just white button mushrooms let's see a cucumber We got two bags of yellow onions. I, maybe it was just the holidays and things got chaotic, chaotic and things were just picked over, but I had to really kind of dig to find, you know, um, bags of onions that weren't, um, that didn't have like rotten ones in them. And they didn't have any um, potatoes, like, you know, like your russet potatoes or red potatoes. Only potatoes that they had here this time were the sweet potatoes and we already have some of those so I'll have to go back and real quick and just pick up some of those. Just got some more carrots. It did snow here and while the snow is slowly melting again but when it snows my carrots seem to uh, disappear quite quickly. There's lots of uh, <laughs> snowmen in our backyard. Um, just got some Roma tomatoes. Got some, just some red grapes. And a bag of um, romaine hearts. Make us a big salad. And so we got some chopped kale. So while eating kale and salads, I'll show you in a second. I got a new. I. My husband went. Black Friday shopping and surprised me with something I've been wanting and had my eye on probably for about two or three years. So we thought in a quest to get healthy, oh my gosh, yeah, we're gonna get some kale and we're gonna start making smoothies again, like for real. <laughs> we'll see how that goes, but that's all right. Good intentions, right? We're always filled with good intentions. And then pineapple. So it was fun to see a, a pretty nice looking pineapple there today. And then cheese. Oh my goodness, my enemy. <laughs> Got some provolone, some parmesan, and then I know, look here, there's two Colby Jacks, an extra sharp, two mild cheddar, and a Monterey Jack. And I know you're thinking, Rebecca, that is a lot of cheese for your family. And I'm like, I know, but I promise it's not just for us. The kids do snack on it. We do use some in recipes, but I do have, um, some friends who've just had babies and stuff, so I'll be delivering a few meals, so that'll not all be for us. <laughs> um, some cream cheese, just one box of macaroni and cheese, just kind of goes with that. Mama needs to have some quick stuff in the pantry to put together quick for kids. Some elbow macaroni, some more spaghetti noodles. We used to be a family who used to get by with 
like a half a pound of spaghetti noodles and all of a sudden our kids get big and I made a pound of noodles and it wasn't enough. I was like, oh my goodness. So, so this two pound box back in the day used to last for four meals. Now it lasts for one and a half. <laughs> That's okay. That's a blessing to feed your family well. Some egg noodles. We'll probably have um, stroganoff or probably some chicken noodles just like that. Got some festive cupcake liners. I have my Halloween ones and I just can't like bear myself to like use the Halloween ones anymore. I need like the Christmassy ones. Um, some more powdered sugar, some brown sugar. I'm so excited to start baking Christmas cookies. It's my favorite. Some two bags of milk chocolate chips, two bags of semi sweet chocolate chips, and then I got some pepperoni for the pizza monkey bread I want to make one night for the kids. Some vegetable oil and butter there at our Aldi was $2.29 a pound, which is a really good price. They actually had limit of six, but we have a few in the fridge and, and a few in the freezer, so I thought I would just get four. But yeah, for $2.29, that's a great deal for us. Just some more saltine crackers. You just never know when you need a saltine. Um, some hot dog buns to go with the hot dogs. Some of the fajita thighs, flour tortillas. Let's see. We got two things of beef broth and then one thing of chicken broth. Um, they had their pop marked down to 99 cents, so I just got a Diet Coke. And I have another fun recipe I want to share with you, and that's what this um, cake mix will be for. Some more flour, some more sugar, um, just some of those uh, fruit and grain bars. My kids love these for little treats, uh, dip granola bars, and then just our chocolate chunk, our chocolate chip. My husband picked out this trail mix. It's got cashews, dried pineapple, dried cam cranberries, almonds, and macadamia nuts. Some salt and pepper chips. <laughs> and then we also got some mesquite barbecue chips too, just to change it up a little bit. Um, some chocolate sandwich cookies. You can see my clean dishes here. <laughs> um, just some milk and I'll show you kind of so this was about a hundred and sixty dollars so not bad considering this will last us about about two and a half three weeks hopefully and we will be making a Sam's Club trip soon did you see my messy closet my kids have been playing outside in the snow and threw their shoes there left the closet wide open <laughs> that's okay um, so I found this, well, my husband found this at Walmart for Black Friday. This was 19, it's 24 piece. I love, I love that I've gotten rid of almost all of my plastic, like storage wear, and I love this glass storage wear. It just, it holds up so much better, and I'm just, I was so excited to find this. This was $19, so that's a great price for all those pieces. But what I'm most excited about is you guys, I got a Ninja. So the one that has like the food processor and you know the blender and then the two cups. I've been doing research. I know most of you would be like, oh, you should have bought the Blend Tech or you should have bought the Vitamix, but that just don't have that kind of budget. It's kind of like my vacuum is a shark and not the, <laughs> the fancier name brand one and the Dyson. So Saved a few hundred dollars there. My shark has worked wonderfully, so I'm crossing my fingers that the Ninja will hold up like my shark vacuum and be a great product that'll last us for years and years. I don't have a blender. I don't have a food processor, so this is gonna be just something that's just gonna be convenient, so yay. So that's, so I just wanted to share that with you. And I would like to know if you went Black Friday shopping, what did you buy? What kind of great deals did you find? I'm just so excited to know and I just thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Be blessed and be a blessing. Okay, so here's my meal plan. Um, I'm not planning too much. 
we're getting to that place where our freezer is getting really, really low on meat and stuff. And we will be making a trip to Sam's Club soon. So I'm just kind of seeing what I have and then from there plan a few things and then from there just kind of use up things as it comes and, you know, eat up leftovers and all that. So we will definitely do some chicken noodle soup. Um, we'll do some schnitzel with mashed potatoes and gravy. Um, I still have another pork roast in there, so we'll do that with green beans. And probably our homemade rice roni. Some Philly cheesesteaks with salad. Um, we'll do chicken with rice and vegetables. It's kind of like a, we call it chicken beef stew. <laughs> we'll do breakfast for dinner and then um, you probably saw on the meal plan, we bought just cans of tomato soup and we'll just do that with paninis and salad, just make it super easy and then freezer clean out and leftovers. So just going to kind of keep it simple and just kind of go from there until we get to Sam's Club. Well, thank you so much for watching. Um, let me know what's on your meal plan and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.